Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. If you're looking to add some custom theming to your Steam Deck, maybe boost the vibrancy of your screen color saturation, or maybe you're just looking for a quick shortcut to setting custom artwork on your games, Decky Loader has you covered. We'll show you how. Stick around. All right, uh, so let's get started. We're going to install Decky Loader first. We're gonna head on over to your favorite browser. I'm using Brave here, but use the browser of your choice. And we're gonna head on over to the Decky Loader page. A link will be in the description down below. It's really, really simple, really easy to do this. Don't be afraid. GitHub scares some people, but it shouldn't scare you. See that nice big download button? We're gonna hit that. It's going to uh, download that Decky installer. We're gonna put it right there on the desktop. So it's easy to find and easy to use. Again, we'll go ahead and close our browser and double click install Decky. We'll go ahead and hit continue. And the first thing it's gonna ask you for is your sudo password. If you do not have a password set up yet, head over to your console and uh, you may have to bring this up a little bit and type in PASSWD and set your password here first. You're going to need that. I've already set mine, so I'm just going to ignore that and I'll enter my sudo password here. All right, so you have a release and pre-release options. Obviously, you probably wanna be in the release guy unless you're really interested in experimental stuff. Pretty simple, that's it. That's really all there is. Now you're probably wondering now, like, where is it? How do I get to it? What do I do with it? Well, everything is done over in gaming mode, so let's head on over there next. All right, we're going to use the three button menu on your Steam Deck to bring up your sidebar overlay. And you can see right here, Decky just lines up with everything else. It's like it's part of the system. Head on down to that little plug and you can see there's nothing going on right now. Decky itself doesn't really do anything other than allow other plugins to run. Now you may see that there are updates coming regularly, especially if you're on the pre-release channel. Uh, and quite frankly, every now and then, listen, Decky is like anything else that you wedge into your system, it can cause a little bit of instability. And right now you can see that it's trying to reload Decky and it won't. So my only option at this point in time is to shut it off. I know that's not a ringing endorsement, but quite frankly, listen, you need to understand that anything that wedges itself inside of your operating system is bound to add a potential, at the very least, of some sort of instability, especially when you're using plugins that, you know, they're by a third party of a third party. So keep that in mind. All right, now that we've rebooted, we're now ready to actually go into Decky and do something useful. I promised you three plugins, and uh, I'm gonna give you those said three plugins. There's not much here to set up, and I have no plugins installed, so we need to get busy with that first. So we're going to head on over to the store icon here under Decky, and now you can see a whole handful of what we would call plugins. So Decky itself doesn't actually do anything other than patch these guys into your operating system. I promised you we were going to get three of them that I loved. Let's do that now. First up is Steam Grid DB. You've heard that setting custom artwork, and I do have a great video for doing that uh, manually, some people want to do it a little quicker and use Steam DB. This is going to help us out. Next up is Vibrant Deck. This is going to help you change the saturation of your screen to make the Steam Deck to go from just okay to looking great. Next up is the CSS Loader, which will allow you to install themes into your Steam OS. These are the three that I would recommend you take a look at first. Under Vibrant Deck, Saturation, all of these things are totally up to you. I like Saturation at 135, other people like it higher, other people like it lower, and I leave everything else exactly where it is. Uh, you can experiment and check, it'll, it'll update it in real time, so you can always jump back in and out and check it out, and again, Adjust it to your heart's content. Uh, honestly, this can really make a difference. You can really eke out a, a better picture on your Steam Deck using that plugin. Okay, 
Next up, CSS Loader. This is where you can get themes, but not just themes, but also tweaks and other things. If you look under filter, you'll see all the different types of things, system wides, tweaks, keyboards, libraries, all sorts of stuff. We're gonna look for the system wide stuff and we're gonna take a look. Most of these are themes, Nintendo themes, Wii themes, all sorts of themes going on here. So we'll grab this Outrun theme, we'll install it. Now some themes require additional tweaks. So when you turn on the Outrun theme, it's also going to turn on other stuff, right? Now, this doesn't really work well for me, but some people like the glowing neon stuff. And you can see it affects all the different areas of the Steam OS. All right, that, that's fine, right? But we would like to probably have something maybe a little more clean. So we're gonna go ahead and head back into the Decky slider, go back to CSS Loader, and we're going to go find a different theme. Now I happen to know of one that I think is kind of sharp, and that's the Pip-Boy theme, which makes your Steam OS look like, well, a Pip-Boy from Fallout. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. Now here's something that's kind of hard. You gotta turn on one and turn off the other. And sometimes it gets, a, it, things kind of run together. So if I turn on Pip-Boy, oh, oh no, I've got half Pip-Boy and half Outrun. I can't see, my eyes, the goggles do nothing. So be sure to turn off the other one first before turning on the new one. And again, it's kind of hard to see, but just look for the word theme, Outrun theme, turn it off. Okay, now look at that. Well, now we're talking, this does look pretty, uh, pip boyish. Look at that. We got the green. It affects the menus, all the little sliders at the top. That's pretty slick. Um, I'm not usually a theme kind of guy, but I know a lot of my viewers are. I wanted you guys to have access to this via the Decky Loader and see just what you can do. All right. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. And it's time for us to go back to our list, Steam Grid DB. So you click in there and it's just a bunch of links. What's that all about? Uh, it's not doing anything. <laughs> so what you have to actually do is go to a game first, right? So let's go over to Moonlight. All right, I'm gonna start with Moonlight because there's no icon. Now look at there, if you hit the gear, there's a change artwork. All right, let's see what we got. Well, look at there. Capsule, wide capsule, hero, logo, icon. Unfortunately, honestly, I would rather have a blank box than this Moonlight art. No offense to the creator, but uh, frankly, that's not gonna work out for me. Now, what's really weird is, another time that I tried to install Moonlight artwork, I got some really cool stuff. So, part of the problem too is, if your shortcut isn't named appropriately, you may or may not be able to find the artwork you want. So sometimes it'll just hang. <laughs> I told you guys, this uh, this isn't commercial ready software here. So you'll notice that we had a moonlight option before. Now when we go back in, it's just gonna hang. So some of the things you can try, again, it's gonna hang again. So you are sort of at the behest of all sorts of things trying to get these things to work. Uh, when it works, it works great. And we're gonna show you how it does work great in just a minute. But I wanted to show that this is not a fail-safe system and knowing how to change these on your own probably makes a lot of good sense. So let's try to change my Ubisoft Connect uh, artwork. And again, it's hung. It's not pulling anything. It should be pulling some nothing back, if anything, right? So let's go and try a regular Steam game, like say Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies. Let's see if this behaves a little bit better. Oh yeah, now we're talking, look at this. You pretty much have your choice of whatever type of artwork you want. You want a girl with a baseball bat, you can have her. Uh, so one by one, we'll set the capsule, the wide capsule, the hero, the logo, and we're gonna take this old dilapidated steam entry that had basically crap artwork, and within just less than a minute, really, I mean, you could buzz through this in way under a minute, you can get everything decked out just the way you want. Let's take a look. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, that looks really, really good. 
and it took pretty much no time at all. You didn't have to download any images. You didn't have to set anything manually. Uh, so now maybe Moonlight will behave now. Let's use this as our control. No, nope. that's not the Moonlight I originally had. So either it was removed from the uh, Steam Grid DB or we just have an inconsistency. How about this Ubisoft, huh? We should be able to do something with this. Let's go ahead and rename it to something that doesn't look so dumb. Let's call it actually like Ubisoft Connect and see if the Steam Grid DB will provide us with better artwork. Hey now, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and set all of this artwork as well. So lessons learned, try renaming the file. Now I already tried it with Moonlight. I decided to cut that out of the video because I fought with Moonlight way too much. Oh, restarting now. Yeah, the icons inside of Steam require Steam to be closed. You don't have to restart. It'll pick it up next time you restart. Now we got Ubisoft, that looks great. That looks great if we go to home. You can see that our new icons are in here. Um, well, I guess you can't see the icons are in here because we'd have to scroll. But suffice to say, uh, inside of our library, you may have a ton of these old games like Call of Duty here that have terrible artwork. Huh? How about this one? If you watch my custom artwork video that show you all five places that the custom artwork is used, you'll have a better idea of where these are all sort of changing. So there you go. That one looks good. As you can see, some of this stuff uh, worked its way in still. I'm gonna go ahead and change more of this. Maybe we'll speed it up as we go because the process is pretty much the same all over the place. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Let's jump over to desktop mode. All right, so we are back at desktop mode. As you can see, the artwork has indeed been updated. Uh, obviously, I'd love to have that moonlight uh, taken care of, but listen, uh, we're working with what we have here. I'll filter to installed locally, and we can take a look at a couple of the items that were added here. Looking pretty good, right? Very nice, very nice. Makes Ubisoft Connect almost look like it belongs there. If you're wondering if you can change the artwork from the desktop side, I'm afraid that option isn't here. It's wedged into the gaming mode flyout panel that you saw earlier. So nothing you can do to set the artwork here other than doing it manually, of course. Now, if you want to uninstall, it's pretty easy. Just run the same installer again, enter your sudo password, and simply select uninstall Decky Loader and hit OK. And it's gone, it's done, it goes away. Super simple, super easy. We'll return to gaming mode real quick and I'll show you how to get rid of the plugins if you decide you don't want to use them anymore. Okay, so simply go over to the gear inside of the Decky Flyout and go down to plugins. And each one of these will have a little three dot menu it has a couple of options. If a plugin crashes, you can use reload or you can use the uninstall option to get rid of them as you go. You would think maybe you could uninstall them from the store, right? So if you already had one like CSS loader, maybe you could uninstall it from there. But unfortunately, no, the only way to uninstall it is to go over to your plugins, each one, and remove them from the three dot menu inside. Well, there you have it, folks. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Listen, Decky Loader can be your friend. Again, I just caution you, anything that uses a third-party plugin could indeed cause some system instability. And before you go up on Reddit and post that your system is crapping out on you, I beg you go in and remove all of your Decky Loader stuff just to make sure it's not interfering. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. You guys know what to do. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Shane Armonroe, and as always, take care.